Welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you a few new things. Most importantly how to add new verbs to objects and then secondly how to get input from a user which you can then use later on. I've created a typewriter object in my game and it's just an object I haven't done anything special to it. Now I want to be able to type on this typewriter but as you can see, if I have a look at features, there's nothing here that will let me type. So I'm going to go to verbs and I'm going to add a new verb, a verb being a doing word. So I'm going to say type on and OK. And at the moment, we're just going to print a message that says you type a message. So now when I play the game, and it loads up, I should be able to say type on typewriter. We can see what happens if we don't have the verb there. If I say play typewriter, and it will say I don't understand your command. But now because we've added type on as a verb, it then responds with the message that we set. So we can have all sorts of verbs in here, that's absolutely fine, but things become more interesting when we attach a verb to a script. And in this script, I'm going to let the user specify what they type. So I'm going to say add a new script, and I'm going to come down to, where is it, get an input, which is under the output bizarrely enough I'm not sure why but that's how it is get input and it'll say get input and then run a script so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a script here which says print a message you start to type like that and then I'm going to add another script which is going to play a sound and I've already downloaded a sound file I got this from soundj.org you can search for these two and that sound file is in my downloads folder there we are okay and then I want to add a new script and I'm going to go right to the bottom and let's have a typewriter effect for a message and instead of message which would just be normal typing I'm going to put in expression and I'm going to put in result now result temporarily stores whatever you have put in when it got the input so there we are we take the input and we store it in result so the user types something it prints out, you start to type, it plays the sound, and then in the style of a typewriter, it then outputs the result. And I can set some settings here. So let's give that a go. Play that quickly through. And what it will say is type on typewriter, like so. And it asks for my input type here and I'm going to say who is this and when I press the enter key it should play the sound and then use the typewriter effect to output it there we are so some little interactivity in our game now this is using the result which is called a variable we're going to see more about those in our next video which means that we can save a lot more information about what's going on i look forward to seeing you then